How are you doing people? And welcome back to my channel. Me being Connor. This being the Scottish Football Pundit Podcast. And today we are watching the last match of the day in the Scottish Premiership. It's a big encounter for newly promoted Dundee United at Tannadice. They have Celtic and Neil Lennon's side who are have, who have got a big season this season. They're the treble treble winners. They've the one night they've got nine in a row and this is a season to make it ten and be history makers in Scotland. Tonight tonight of a half past five kickoff, they are facing Dundee United newly promoted side and Mickey Mellon side as Robbie Nielsen left up um, Dundee United last season to go to Hearts to take over Hearts for the second time. Uh, also followed them was um, former Dundee United assistant manager and Rangers captain Lee McCulloch and Gordon Forrest. Now tonight for Mickey Mellon's side they are at Tannadice facing Celtic and they have in the starting 11 is number one Seagrist, number 30 is Nielsen, they're playing a 4 3 3 with Nielsen at right back with two two experienced centre backs in the middle with Mark Conley and Mark Reynolds, for, former Aberdeen player, with young Robson at left back. Playing three in the middle with Butcher, Peter Pollock, and Hart. And three up front with a boy that's on loan to Mickey Mellon side from Manchester City is young boy Luke Bolton. In the middle of the park, number 10, former Rangers and Dunfermline, Sandy Clark's laddie is Nicky Clark. And on the right is Chalmers. On the bench for the Tangerines tonight is number 19, Denise Mayman. Number 22, Freeman. Number 3, Sporro. Number 4, Powers. Number 21, Declan Glass. Number 16, Adam King, former Hearts player. Number 7, Paul McMillan, former Celtic youngster. Number 11, Smith. And number 27, Aperi. And well, I'll just tell you the Celtic squad for tonight. They are playing a 4-5-1 by the looks of things with new new Greek goalkeeper, Greek international goalkeeper in Barkas. Number 38 right back Jeremy Frimpong with two centre backs in the middle. Number 2 Christian Julian. Number 6 been at Celtic for a long time. Number 6 Nurbiton. Number 3 former Kilmarnock. And Scottish international youngster is Greg Taylor with number 17, Ryan Christie, number 18, captain for Celtic, Scott Brown, number 21, Olivia Nachan, number 42, Callum McGregor, number 27, Ellie Yanusi, and number 22 is Odson Eduard. On the bench for the Celtic tonight is number 29, Scott Bain, number 44, El Hamid, number 35, Christopher Ayer, number 55, McEnroy, youngster, number 12, Sorrow, number 49, James Forrest, number 53, Harper, number 10 is Swiss, is a Swiss striker on loan from West Ham United, is um, as Yeti, and number 11, young Polish boy, is Klimala. Now, tonight, I am expect people will be favouring, will be favouring the champions, the Scottish football, to do, to do one over the newly promoted Dundee United side, but I think that Dundee United will give Celtic a game and it will finish 
either two one to Cel two one to Celtic, but hopefully in a Rangers way because I'm a diehard Rangers fan, I want Dundee United to do the favour for us after we won two 0 earlier today against Kilmarnock. Um, I want it to finish at least one 0 to Dundee United and help them get themselves three points, especially at home at Tannadice where they are a good side and they play well at home. Now let's get to the match. I'm going to watch a match and I will do the pre the f after match thoughts or based on that game and they will be after sp I've watched sports scene tonight I will do pre match the pre match post match thoughts on all the three o'clock kickoffs that were played today in the Scottish Premiership. The all the Scottish football teams Championship, League One, League Two, Highlander, Long League, um, Juniors, all go back to start and training on Monday, according to the SFA and the Scottish Government, which is good, which is good for the Scottish football and good for the SFA. Let's just see what happens. A further rumour that fans, a limited number of fans, are going to be allowed to the Celtic versus Motherwell game next weekend. Whether that happens or not, we will wait and see. But. As, of, as I said, like and comment below, subscribe if you're new, this has been me Connor, this has been the Scottish Football Pundit Podcast and I'm out guys.